Welcome back to the Big Cinema 4D Art Challenge. Now, if you haven't already done so, there is a link below this video to download this scene file, this blank scene file for you to start creating this art. Right, so this is a bit of an update on my previous video, which went into all the detail. This one is just to look at using Pyro as um, a simulation source. Okay, so on the screen you'll see um, I've got a concrete look um, in this kind of grungy cage that I've created and it's basically dripping concrete, wet concrete through the bottom or whatever medium you want to call this but it's, it's using pyro in this kind of liquid form. Um, so let's just dive straight in and show you how to do this. So nice effect look, if we just play that for a bit longer you'll see we've actually, I haven't cached this but I'm just showing you the effect here that where it's just it's basically just um, breaking away where I've put the this gravity field and it's just coming out and finishing up on the floor. So how you do that, let's just go back to, see if we can open this original file, which is the blank canvas, this one. Okay, so let's have a look at what, how we get that effect. Right, so what we do is, um, let's combine these letters art into one um, connect and delete so we just get one letter there and then we're going to put pyro on just that one piece which will be uh, go to there put on pyro let's bring the other pyro down so we can work on them both together um, the cage we on the spline we want this to be less uniform so we just grab and I did this in my first video um, we just grab a displacer let's just hold down shift put that in there and let's use a noise shader and the best one I found for this is sparse convolution and just put that up to about 300 percent so you get this kind of dis disturbed line you know like it's broken and stuff so that's that's the effect we want there uh, right back to the pyro we need a volume Mesher and a volume builder. Uh, sorry, not two builders. We need one mesher and one builder. Right, so we put the mesher, let's put all this in one place. Um, put the builder underneath and then put the pyro underneath that as a child. Um, we turn off pyro. We also go control D and make sure we've got generating before, sorry, simulating before generating, which is on. Um, right, let's have a look at builder. We need to put that in at a, a one mesher, probably okay for now. Right, we just need to change a few things on the on this um, uh, pyro tag that's on the on this this text. So we we drop the voxel down to a one. Um, we want to do volume emitting, not surface emitting. So it, it emits the whole shape rather than just the edge. Um, we're going to turn off temperature. Uh, we want to turn off velocity. Let's turn off noise as well so we don't have disturbance there. Uh, we want one in the set and we want this to actually keyframe one at, at, at zero and then we want to move it forward a few uh, frames and then keyframe that to zero because we just want the pyro to generate and then stop generating. The reason we do that, it's a little bit like if you create volume of any kind, you know, obviously when smoke and fire is generated, it's continually making the fire and smoke um, to keep generating and then dissipating. Whereas here, we just want it to form like a, a, a solid and then stop making any more material. So that's what we do there. We just quickly go one and then turn it off. So it just emits what we need and then it stops. Um, right, what else do we change? That's fine. Let's just see. Let's turn off the A as well, the visibility of it, and then let's just see what we get now if we press play. Uh, right, it's not actually, G ah, okay. Um, what we need to do on the object is to turn on density and then just turn off all the others. Okay, so this will probably help. We never actually had the density turned on. All right, so there we go. That's created this, this that's just, loaded in there is pyro okay and it's it's in its solid form at the moment because there isn't any forces acting on it if we go to the uh scene files now that gravity is zero so there isn't any forces acting on this so it will stay completely stable 
So to make this drip and move around in there, we can just apply some gravity. Now we can apply gravity to the whole scene and the whole thing will melt away. Or we can use fields on gravity. So we can click on fields and say let's use a box field. Um, let's drag that out like that. Put it at the bottom section like this. And then if we press play, just seeing if it's affecting that. Okay, it's not doing it that strong at the moment. Let's see what we can change. All right, we've got gravity. Uh, ah, it's probably not in the in, in the place. It's, it's probably not over it correctly. Let's have a look at it from different views. Yeah, it's not actually sitting over the text. So make sure you you have your box field or your, whatever field you're using actually on um, in the right place in the scene. It's no it's no it's no good if it's um, in a different part of the scene. Right. So we just position it over there. Let's give that another go. Let's have a look here. Yeah, something, yeah, it is. It's moving. It's, it's dropping down. Uh, I think I know what's wrong. Uh, we don't have a um, a collider on this spline here, so it's not working that well. So we do right click, and we add a a collider onto that. Let's try that again. Okay. As you can see, that's working a lot better. It's now looking at the wire, this cage wire as a collider. So the pyro is not um, just passing through it. It's actually meshing through it, you know, so it's, it's using it. It can see it. So then you get this really nice um, effect there. Now we can change the look of this completely by going into the volume builder and in here we can add in a smooth and then we can take that down to one because it's a little bit too smooth and now you can see we've got these really nice kind of angled smoother drips that are coming out and we can even change the measure we can actually bring that up look so it's thicker or bring it down so it's a little bit thinner you know the way it looks so a lot of control there volume builder um, on the smooth, we can even have a look at changing these um, operator styles, you know, just to get different looks. Quite like the Gaussian one, though. And I think that looks quite realistic, the way that is, you know, these drips are just nicely hanging there, like, aren't they, just at the bottom. And you can speed this up. I know if you wanted the gravity to be faster than gravity, we could put in, like, a bigger number there, and then it would fall at a quicker rate than gravity you know if you wanted it to speed up and you wanted it to drop out so as you can see where we've put this box field and we have um, remapping on it which means it will start off and it will gradually um, get more intense to the to the center here and then the edges will, will fade back out and it will be less effective we're actually getting it starting to break away up here look and then most of it's dripping out the bottom where it's stronger so that's all today don't want these to go on very long each different type of effect i'm going to just give a little video time to like this just to give you some inspiration um i've got another one in mind as well that i'm going to do like this so i hope that's helped um keep making yours don't forget the link is below here to my gum road grab it it's free of charge start doing your creations and i will speak to you in the next video when i have another one of these my name is mike from visual animation take care Goodbye for now.